Episode 4 of the series is on D.W. Griffith's The Birth of a Nation. Now, this film was highly controversial, so I'm going to have a disclaimer before the video. Originally released in 1915, the content of this film is extremely controversial. The NAACP protested the release and 1922 re-release of this film, which led to censorship by the New York Censor Board in a landmark court case contesting the right to censorship. Although the plot depicts a biased societal view of race, the film is a masterpiece cinematically, using innovative style, storytelling methods, acting, and music that have placed it as one of the best American films of all time. A title card in the movie states, We do not fear censorship, for we have no wish to offend with improprieties or obscenities, but we do demand as a right the liberty to show the dark side of wrong, that we may illuminate the bright side of virtue. The same liberty that is conceded to the art of the written word, that art to which we owe the Bible and the works of Shakespeare. The movie is based on a book called The Klansman by Thomas Dixon Jr. So anything based off something related to the KKK in a positive light, it's not going to be okay. Dixon was a classmate of President Woodrow Wilson and was able to have the movie screened at the White House, making it the first movie to be shown at the White House. It was the first 12 reel film made in the United States with a three hour and 13 minute runtime divided into two parts, Civil War of United States and Reconstruction. The film uses stylistic decisions that include varying shot types, ornate title cards, an orchestral score, parallel action between several characters, three at once at more than one point, vignettes in the form of blooms and iris shots, which only expose a circular area of the screen, highlighting an object or event. Hundreds of extras were hired to act in mob and battle scenes. Historical scenes were depicted with an emphasized accuracy and scale. For instance, we see the surrender of Robert E. Lee at Appomattox Courthouse, we see the assassination of President Lincoln, and one of the most controversial, which is a reported case in the South Carolina State Legislature post-Reconstruction, where newly elected black representatives are behaving poorly. It was later discovered that this scene was based off of a political cartoon rather than a real event. The NAACP campaign to have the film banned failed as droves of whites went to viewings. The case New York Censor Board versus The Birth of a Nation was ruled in favor of the Censor Board and actually permitted the removal of two scenes from the 1922 re-release. The film inadvertently sparked a resurgence of white supremacy across the country, including the recreation of the KKK in Stone Mountain, Georgia, the year after the release. It was a commercial success and was inducted into the National Film Registry because it has historical and cultural significance. So. It's a wonderful film artistically. It's really well done stylistically as well, and the production value is superb. But the plot itself is unacceptable. This video was made possible by Scott Langley, who selected all the titles featured in this series, and narrated by me, Graham Morphus. D.W. Griffith's The Birth of a Nation can be screened in the Macaulay Cave as disc number 131. Thank you.